Hey everyone and welcome back. So as I mentioned at the end of the first part, I had to cut the video because I was going on a trip. But now I'm back and it's time to finish what we started. Last time we connected the moisture sensor to the ESP32, set up the Blink app and made the plant smart enough to tell us when it's thirsty. But there is still a problem. It still needs us to water it. And now it's time to teach this plant how to water itself. For that we'll use a water pump and to control it safely, this little guy. If you haven't watched the first part, be sure to watch it, because it's related to this video. Now let's make the circuit. I take the motor driver and power it. Since I'm using a 6 volts power source, I'll power the motor driver from 12 volts terminal. Otherwise, with the 5 volts terminal, the water pump definitely won't work. Then I connect to the grounds, so the negative side. Now I'll draw a cable from 5th pin on ESP32 to input 1 on motor driver and the input 2 with the ground. Now take the water pump and connect the positive to output 1, negative to output 2. And we are all done. Now let's move to the blink. I head over to Blink app and go to the web dashboard, then edit and drag a switch to the main screen and save and apply. Now go to data streams, edit, new data stream, digital pen. Uh, let's name it um, water pump, a fifth pin, pin mode output, and uh, nothing else. Save and apply. Now we'll go back to the web dashboard, click edit. Get into the settings of the switch and choose the data stream that we just created. On value is 1, off value is 0 and save. Save and apply and we are all done. If you want to monitor and water the plant by your phone, just make the same process on your phone. Now let's move to the code. So here is the code. Um, what I've changed here, I just added uh, this line where I define the pump on the fifth pin. And here I tell when to turn the pump on and off. In the voice setup, I just uh, set the fifth pin as output and nothing else. So I just send the code and let's test it. Alright, so I filled my container with uh, water and now I place the end of the pipe on the edge of container. Holy shit! Alright guys, so now I'm testing if the water pump works properly inside the container. Turn it on and yeah. As you see, the water flows through the pipe. Now turn it off. Turn on. Turn off. And okay. Now I can place the end of the pipe to the waste. Alright, so I set the end of the pipe on the edge of the waste and 
We are all done. We finished the project. By the way, don't forget the water on top, guys. If I had used the real pot and plants, everything would be okay. But yeah. And that's it for this video guys, I hope you liked it and if you have any questions or any critiques just drop it down in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.